you guess what I am? <laughs> All right, I'll give you a clue. I'm very tall and I'm green and I've got lots of leaves. Um, can you guess what I am? Oh, tree! Thimble tree! That's right, Pom! <laughs> well done! <laughs> I'm a tree! A twirly tree! <laughs> oh, all right, Pom, your turn now. I really can't guess. Simba Coo. Oh, yes, please, Pom. Give me a clue. Pom tree. Oh, <laughs> oh Pom, you're a tree too. <laughs> oh, tickle, tickle, tickle. <laughs> I love pretending so many things, but underneath I stay the same. And Flory is my name. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, I'm getting the bimbling feeling. Oh, I'm going to find something. Oh. I can feel a twinkling. I can hear a sound. It's telling me there's something waiting to be found. Where is it? Where is it? What could it be? I think it might be over there. Let's go and see. Oh, there is something to be found here. Oh, but where is it? Oh, is it over here? No. Or is it over there? Oh, oh, can you see it anywhere? Oh, 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 look, look. Oh, it's a star. Oh, isn't it beautiful? Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Oh, <laughs> Bessie, Bessie, look what I found. Oh, isn't it magical, Flory? A twinkling star. And it's got one, two, three, Four, five points! Oh, I wonder what they're doing. Oh, it looks like they're mixing something. Yes, they're mixing together butter and flour and some milk. Oh. Are they making something to eat? No, well, it looks as if they are. I think they're making biscuits. I wonder what's special about these biscuits. Oh, they're rolling out the mixture. Oh, and look, Bessie, look at that shape. <laughs> yes, we know what shape that is, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's a star shape. Lots and lots of stars. Oh, and they've made them all shiny like my star. But we can't eat my star, can we, Bessie? <laughs> <laughs> no, you can't. <laughs> I can be a star. Watch me, Bessie. Now I'm a twinkling star in the sky. Whee! Hey! Hello, Flurry. Hello, Bessie. Hello, Rocket. <laughs> Ooh, can I be a star too, Flurry? Can I? Can I? Can I? <laughs> <laughs> of course you can, Rocket. Just hold your arms out and jump like me. Flurry. Oh yes, Rocket. Uh, uh, why are we being stars? Because I found a star, Rocket. Look, there it is. High up in the sky. Oh, yes. It's very high up in the sky. Oh. Oh, 
look! The star's falling down! Oh! Oh, the star's gone! Oh. Let's go and look for it. You go that way, Rocket, and I'll go this way. Oh, tell you what, Flurry. Yes, Rocket? You go this way, and I'll go that way. <laughs> All right, Rocket. <laughs> See you later, Betty. <laughs> See you later, Flurry. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Finn Barker! Oh. Hey! Oh. Oh. Hello, Rocket! Hello, Rocket! Oh. Hello, I'm looking for a star. Have you seen one? Huh. Pom star! Look, Rocket, Pom star! Oh, that's <laughs> it, Pom, you're being a star! No, no, a flurry found a star high up in the sky. Hi, Tinkle Tinkle. Oh, yes, Bob. It was a tinkly, twinkly, winkly star. But it fell down and now we're looking for it. Mm. Can we help? Oh, Pop Helper. Oh, yes, you can. I tell you what, you go that way, Finbo, and we'll go this way. Come on, Pom. <laughs> All right, then. I'll go this way. Oh, 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 dear, I'm sleepy after all that playing. Mm, I'll just have a little look around here. Oh, no, 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 nothing there. Mm, oh, I'll just have a little sit down here. <coughs> yeah, mm, maybe, maybe I'll, I'll just close my eyes for a minute. Oh. I can't see anything. Oh well. Da, <laughs> da. Where are you? Oh. oh. Look, look, Tinkle Star. Oh, Rocket, Rocket, sorry, sorry, Tinkle Star here. <laughs> oh, what is it, Pom? Oh, oh, have you found the star? Look, look, star. Oh, well done, Pom. Oh, hello, little star. Hello, star. <laughs> Darker bump, sorry. Poor star. Oh, I don't know, Pom. Are you all right, little star? I hope you didn't hurt yourself when you fell to the ground. Huh. Pom, get cushion. <laughs> oh, yes. Uh, that's a good idea, Pom. Uh, you could use my froggy cushion. Here you are. Oh, that was quick. Oh, thank you, Pom. Come on, little star. Let's put you on this cushion. It's nice and soft. Oh, I think the star's all right, Pom. Look, it's twinkling at us. <laughs> <laughs> Up above the world so high Like a diamond in the sky Tinka, tinka, yeta, ta How I wonder what you are oh. The sky? Oh, that's right, Pom. The star lives up in the sky The sky? sky? How are we going to get the star back up in the sky? Yeah. Oh, oh, I don't know, Rocket. Oh, the sky's very high up. Oh, 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 I know, I know. I'll climb up as high as I can and you can pass the star up to me and then I can reach up high and put it back in the sky. Do you think you could do that, Rocket? Oh, yes, I'm a rocket frog. I'm sure I can reach for the stars. I'll start climbing then. Oh, I wonder where Thimbo is. Here I am, Flurry. Now, uh, see if you can pass the star up to me. Uh, uh, oh, he here you are, Rocket. I'll hold it up high. Uh, hi, uh, hi, Flurry. Uh, oh, uh, I can't quite uh, reach it, Flurry. Uh, can you stand up higher? Um, oh, I'll try and stand on my tiptoes. Uh, oh, 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 it's no good, Rocket. I just can't reach high enough. Oh, you're right. I don't think this is going to work. Mm. What shall we do now? No, no. Let's go and find Thimbo. Huh. Pom coming. 
Oh, well, uh, I'll just hang around here then, shall I? Peppa! Bumbo! Oh, 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 hello, you two. Oh, you found your star, Flurry. Yes, Pum found it in the play dip. Ha, Pum sang. Oh, it's beautiful, Flurry. Yes, it is. But we don't know how to get it back up in the sky. Ooh. Hello there, everyone. Hello, oh, oh, Rolly. Rolly. <laughs> you all look as though you've got your thinking hats on today. <laughs> what are you all thinking about so carefully? Oh, oh, look, Rolly. I found a star in the sky and it fell down to the ground. Ooh, and now you're trying to think how to get it back up in the sky again. Yes, we are. How did you know that, Rolly? <laughs> I know lots of things. Hmm. Do you know how to get our star back up in the sky? Well, I tell you what, Flurry. Shall we have a story while we're thinking? Oh, yes, oh, yes please. please. Well, you settle down and I'll be back in a roly mo. <laughs> when you take a look inside a book, it's fun as fun can be. Oh, now what have we here? When you take a look inside a book, who knows what you might see? A story or rhyme, just take the time to read along with me. Ah, here we are. Now then, are you sitting comfortably? Yes. <laughs> Good. Then I'll begin. This story is called Wishing on a Star. Hmm. One night, the stars saw a tear on the moon's cheek. Poor moon, they said. Why are you feeling sad? The moon said, when I am awake, everyone else is asleep. And when everyone else is awake, I am asleep, so I never get to see anyone playing. The stars said that they would wake the moon up the next afternoon so that she could see everyone playing. But when the time came, the stars were all asleep as well. All except for one tiny star. The tiny star shouted and shouted at the moon, but he wasn't loud enough to wake her up. So when the moon did wake up, it was night time again. And everyone was fast asleep. Then the tiny star remembered that his grandmother had given him a handful of magical stardust. This will make your wish come true, Moon, he said, sprinkling the stardust over the world. The moon could hardly believe her eyes. Everyone was sleeping, but now they were dreaming. And the moon could see their dreams. She could see them playing and having fun in their dreams. The moon watched all night until she fell fast asleep, happy at last. Ah, there we are. Oh, that was a lovely story, Rowley. But we still don't know how to get our star back up in the sky. Hmm, I tell you what, do you want to wish on a star? Oh, oh yes! yes. Wish. All right then, why don't you each have a wish? Oh, great, I'm going oh, to wish Oh, why don't you have a secret wish, Fimbo? You don't have to tell anyone else. All oh, right, Rowley. <sighs> Sky. Oh, 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 yes, Rocky. 
Yes, my wish came true. I wish that the star could go back up in the sky, and it did. <laughs> so did I. That's what I wish too. Up on the sky, sky. Oh, we all wish the same wish. And it worked. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> How do you do? <laughs> oh, 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 I'm feeling a little bit sleepy today. It was my mum's birthday yesterday and I got to stay up a little bit late. Come on now, let's go and find Uncle Roly. Ready? Then off we go! Hmm. Uncle Rolly! Oh, oh. oh, hello there. And how are you today? I'm... Oh, I'm feeling very sleepy. Hello, Uncle Rolly. Oh, oh. Hello there, little Bo. I was just telling our friends that I'm feeling very sleepy. I stayed up very late talking to your mum and dad last night. I know. I could hear you until I fell asleep. Oh, and when I got home, I stayed up even later looking at the stars through my rolliscope. Oh, they were so beautiful. What shall we do, Uncle Rolly? Oh, I think we need to do something that will keep me awake. We can do some counting in my busy book. That should keep you awake. Busy book, busy book, let's take a look. Someone is hiding. Who can it be? Is it a thimble? Who can you see? It's Baby Pom. What are we going to do today, Baby Pom? One, two, three, four twinkling stars. One, two trumpets. There's Ripple. There's only one Ripple. <laughs> That's right. So we've got one Ripple, two trumpets... And four stars. Hmm. What number are we missing? Let's see. One, two, three... <gasps> oh dear! We don't have anything for number three. Oh, look. I think Baby Pom's had an idea. Hello, Fimbo. Hello, Flory. Look. How many Fimbles are there? One, two, three. There are three Fimbles. One Ripple, two Trumpets, <laughs> three Fimbles and four Stars. Hooray! We did it. Thank you, Fimbo. Thank you, Flory. And thank you, Baby Pom. <laughs> you too, Ribble. Thank you, everyone. See you again soon. That was fun, Uncle Roly. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Roly? Oh. oh, I'm sorry. Did I fall asleep again? Yes, you did. Oh, well, that will never do. It must be nearly tea time. I'd better go and start getting it ready. See you in a roly mo. Oh, see you in a roly mo, little bo. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> you go! Me go! We go! Amigo! Let's a go go! <laughs> Hold on, what's that? What's what? That's not me. It's my tummy! <laughs> <laughs> then let's a go go! Amigo! <laughs> One rolly scope, two. Two snoots. What you doing? Waiting. Oh, for what? Tea. Yippity dippity, can we wait with you? Of course you can. <laughs> Shall we have a story while we're waiting? But not one with food in it, please. Here's a story. Let's read this one. Story time with Little Bo. Our favourite time of day. Now then, are you sitting comfortably? Yes. yes. Good. Then I'll begin. In the cold, cold land of the North Pole, Daddy Polar Bear and Baby Polar Bear were fishing. They each sat near a hole in the ice and waited. They waited and waited, but they didn't catch any fish. A seal popped up. Hello, said the seal. Shh, said Daddy Polar Bear. You'll scare the fish away. So the seal popped back down. A walrus popped up. Hello, said the walrus. Shh, said Baby Polar Bear. You'll scare the fish away. So the walrus popped back down. Suddenly, Baby Polar Bear felt a tug. I think I've got a fish, he said and pulled hard. Daddy Polar Bear felt a tug. I think I've caught a fish, he said and pulled hard. Baby Polar Bear was nearly pulled down his hole. This fish must be huge, he said. Daddy Polar Bear was nearly pulled down his hole. This fish must be enormous, he said. Baby Polar Bear gave one more big tug, but he didn't see Daddy Polar Bear fall in. Splash! I can see the fish, shouted Baby Polar Bear. It's got a black nose and a white face and it's gigantic. It's... It was Daddy Polar Bear. Our fishing lines must have got tangled up, he laughed. There weren't any fish at all. The seal and the walrus popped up again. That's what we were trying to tell you, said the seal. There aren't any fish down there today. Oh well, said Daddy Polar Bear. I think I've had enough fishing for today. I fancy something else for supper tonight. So they went home and had sausages instead. Ah, lovely. Oh, that story had sausages in it. Sausage sausages. <laughs> yes, sausages. <laughs> Was that your tummy's rumbling? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that was my tummy. I think I'd better go and see what happened to our tea and to Uncle Rolly. Hmm. <laughs> Look at Uncle Rolly. Hmm. Uncle Rolly. Oh. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, Little Bo. Did I fall asleep again? Yes, you did. Oh. Why don't I finish getting tea ready and you go in the living room? Oh, oh thank you, Little Bo. That is a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Uncle Roly. He needs to go to bed early tonight. <gasps> tea time! With Roly Mo! Our really favourite time of day! Ah, <laughs> uh, oh, no tea. Not yet, I'm afraid. I fell asleep, so little Bo's finishing it off. Oh, good. I know what you need, Roly. Oh, what's that? You need a song to wake you up. You do! Snuggly and feeling a little bit dozy. Feeling extra specially cosy Just won't do 
you sleepy head, it's time to leave your comfy bed. You can start with a shake, 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 shake yourself. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Put your feet on the floor, 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 and shake some more, more, more. Now clap to the left. Now clap to the right. How do you feel now? All right. Now clap to the left. Now clap to the right. How do you feel now? All right. <laughs> you two look as though you need waking up now. Back in a roly mo. When you take a look inside a book, who knows what you will see? When you take a look inside a book, it's fun as fun can be. With cats and dogs and birds and frogs, a monkey who says boo, boo, wonderful things, and giants and kings, and maybe a thimble or two. Now what have we here? When you take a look inside a book, who knows what you might see? A story or rhyme, just take the time to read along with me. Hmm. Books over here, books over there. Oh, find me a book with a story to share. Uh, waking up, uh, going to sleep, um, story. Oh, uh, thank you. It's on its way. I just wanted to pop in and listen to the story. Now then, are you sitting comfortably? Yes. Yes. Good. Then I'll begin. <laughs> Molly was going to bed. First, she kissed her dad. Night, night, Molly. Sleep tight, said dad. Then she kissed her gran. Up the wooden hill to Bedfordshire said Gran. Molly snuggled down in bed and wondered what the wooden hill to Bedfordshire was and how do you sleep tight? Mum came in to tuck her up. Mum, what's a wooden hill to Bedfordshire? said Molly. Mum laughed. It's only a little joke Gran likes, she said. It just means going up the stairs to bed. But we haven't got any stairs, said Molly. We live in a flat. That's right, said Mum. But I had to go upstairs to bed when I was a little girl. Sweet dreams. Molly shut her eyes. I can't see any sweet dreams, Mum, she said. No, you have to be asleep first, said Mum. Try counting sheep. That's what people sometimes do when they want to get to sleep. Night, Molly. So Molly thought about sheep. She thought of a picture of a soft, fat, fluffy sheep trying to walk up some wooden stairs and getting stuck. <laughs> it made her giggle, so she thought of another one. This was a small black sheep in a sweet shop eating some chocolate buttons. That made her giggle too. That's two sheep, said Molly to herself. Number three was a smart, woolly sheep jumping over a gate. <laughs> it looked funny because it had glasses on just like Gran's. Then there was sheep number four. And then sheep number five, which seemed to get smaller and smaller and smaller. Until Molly didn't have to count any more because she was fast asleep. Lovely. Oh dear. That wasn't a waking up story, was it? It was a going to sleep story. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> well, we have had a sleepy day today. It's been a roly moly day. <laughs> you will come and join us next time in Fimble Valley, won't you? Now, it's time for us all to go. Cheerio. <sighs> Hello, Fimbo. Oh, hello, Rocket. And what are you doing today? Well, 
Oh, uh, don't you want that crumble cracker? Hmm, well, the thing is... Yes? I've already had three. <laughs> three crumble shh, crackers? Shh, oh, shh, sorry, 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 sorry. Three crumble crackers? Shh, 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 shh. I don't want Bessie to know. Um, you're right. She might be cross. Yes. Oh, yummy, yummy. Maybe I should help you finish that one. Uh, no. Oh. I'm saving it till later. Oh. I'm just waiting till I'm hungry again. I see. Well, in that case, I'm going to do some more bouncing. Bye. 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 Little one's just going to sleep. Oh. There you go, little one. Snuggle down. That's <laughs> 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 Pum. <laughs> hey! What a bingy bongy bouncy day. <laughs> Hello, Pom. Oh, hello, Rocky. Oh, what you doing there, Pom? Oh. oh, I see. Drawing. Cool. Hey, do you want to know what I'm doing today? Do you? Do you? Can you guess? I'm bouncing today. <laughs> cool. Is that a picture of me? That's a picture of me! That's a picture of me! Ooh. Hey, Pum, what are you doing now? Oh, I see. More drawing. Well, in that case, I'm going to do more bouncing. Bye! Boing! 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 Let me think. Am I hungry yet? Hmm, maybe just a little bit. Ah, I... Oh, Pom! Ah. <laughs> Yuck! As Fimba! Oh, is that for me, Pom? As Fimba. Oh, thank you, Pom. That's really good. Ah. Now, I was just about to do something. What was it? Um, oh, hello there, you two. <laughs> Are you doing anything special? Hello, Rolly. Oh, no, Rolly. We're not doing anything special at the moment. Oh, well, I was just passing by. I heard your voices and I wondered whether you'd like a story. Oh, yes, please, Rolly. Oh, yes, please, Rolly. Oh, oh, right oh then. I'll see you in a Rolly Mo. <laughs> uh, now, I wish I could remember what I was trying to remember. Oh, oh wait for me, Pom. When you take a look inside a book, it's fun as fun can be. Oh, now what have we here? When you take a look inside a book, who knows what you might see? A story or rhyme, just take the time to read along with me. Oh, hello there, you two. What have you been doing? Well, Pom's been drawing and I... Uh, well, I was doing something, but I can't remember what it was. Uh, Dory, Dory! Oh, yeah, and now Rolly's going to read us a story. Uh, do you want to hear it too? Oh, yes! Ah, here we are. Oh, hello, Florrie. Hello, Rolly! <laughs> now, are you all sitting comfortably? Uh, oh, yes, yes. Rolly. Oh, good. Then I'll begin. This story is called... A Frosty Night. It was the last day of autumn. The old oak tree watched as his last leaf fell. It's nearly winter, said the tree. Oh, dear. The moon came out. Hello, tree, she said. What's the matter with you this fine night? Oh, it's nearly winter, said the tree, and all my leaves have gone. Oh, I love winter, said the moon. I can peep through your branches now. And she did. Peepo. But the tree didn't want to play this game. 
I love summer, said the tree, when my leaves are green and shady, and autumn, when my leaves are lots of colours. Now I've just got brown branches. Oh. The moon had an idea. She went to see her friend, Jack Frost. He was busy mixing up something in a huge silver pot. The moon told him about the tree. Ho-ho, <laughs> said Jack Frost. I know just what to do. And he called two little elves who dipped their tiny silver buckets into the big pot. The tree was still sighing when the elves flew over and started painting his branches. Hey, said the tree. Oh, stop that. Oh, it tickles. We're giving you a winter coat, hee <laughs> hee, laughed the elves. How's that? Moon asked the tree. The tree looked at his branches. Now they were all silver and glittering in the moonlight. Oh, that's beautiful, said the tree. A sparkly winter coat. Thank you, moon. Ah, don't thank me, said the moon. Thank Jack Frost. Ah. Oh. Lovely. Oh, that was a lovely winter story, Roly. The tree was all sparkly and shiny with the cold frost. Ah, sparkly, sparkly. Do you think Jack Frost would come and paint our trees, Roly? I'd love to see our valley all sparkly and shiny. So would I, Fimbo. So would I. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Oh, 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 I'm getting the fimbling feeling too. Hooray! <laughs> so am I. We're all going to find something. Hooray! <laughs> I can feel a twinkling. I can hear a sound. It's telling me there's something waiting to be found. Where is it? Where is it? What could it be? I think it might be over there. Let's go and see. Something here. Where is it? Is it here? <laughs> or is it there? Oh, oh can, can you, you see, see it anywhere? anywhere? A sparkle! Uh, stardust sprinkles, shiny bright! A sparkle, sparkle, pretty, pretty! Shining <laughs> brightly <laughs> in the in light! light. <laughs> oh, bless my feet and beak, what have you found this time? Something shiny! Sparkly! It's beautiful! Oh, what magical glitter! Glitter? Hello, glitter! That's a glittery ball. And a glittery hat. It's really sparkly. What's that, Bessie? It's a lamp, Flory, with pink glitter inside. Ah, sparkly. Oh, lots more sparkly stuff. <laughs> it's called tinsel. She's dressing up, isn't she? A lovely glittery crown. <laughs> <laughs> there, that's lovely. What's she making? Oh, it's a glittery heart shape. Can we touch the glitter, Bessie? Oh, yes, I should think you can, Fimbo. I wonder what it feels like. Um, oh, <laughs> it feels all tickly. <laughs> tickly. <laughs> oh, yes, it's all tickly. <laughs> Do you know, I think Rolly Moe would love to see this. 
I'll just go and get him. Oh, oh, uh, and I'll go and get Little One too. I wonder where Rocket's got to. When I was eating my cracker, he said he had lots of bouncing to do. He... Oh, my cracker! That's what I was trying to remember. I was trying to remember my cracker. <laughs> How could I forget that? Oh, hello, cracker. I've missed you. <laughs> oh, look, Pom. Look at my cracker. It's all glittery. Oh, wait till Flurry gets back. She won't believe this. Oh, there you are, little one. Wakey, wakey. Come and see what we found. Oh, little one, you're all glittery. <laughs> oh, let's go and show the others. They won't believe this. Where is everyone? Oh, hello there, Roller. Oh, hello, Bessie. Oh, how lovely to see you. <laughs> what can I do for you today? Well, you've simply got to go and see what those clever thimbles have found over in the Happy Hollow. Ah, could it be anything to do with the story I told them <laughs> by any chance? <laughs> I think it just might be. Oh, it's so exciting. Do go and see, Roly. Of course I will, Bessie. It'll be my pleasure. <laughs> see you in a Roly Mo. Oh, goodbye. <laughs> oh, that Roly. He's such a gentle mole. Thimble Pom, look at Little One. When I touched her, she went all glittery. <sighs> And look at my cracker, Flurry. It went all glittery when I picked it up, too. Oh. Oh. Good. <laughs> I can finish my cracker off now. <laughs> um, oh, Pom, you have a go at touching something. See if you can make it go all glittery. Huh. Uh, oh, Fimbo. Mm -hmm. uh, Fimbo Glitter. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hello there. Bessie tells me you found something very special and sparkly. Oh, yes, Rolly. Look at Pom's picture. Uh, sparkle. Oh, I say, that is lovely, Pom. Oh, all glittery. Oh. Uh, Fimbo, do you remember what you said after you heard the story? Oh, yes, I think I can remember that, Rolly. I said that I'd love to see our valley all sparkly and shiny. Oh, Roly, do you think we could make our valley all sparkly and glittery? <laughs> what do you think? Yes, we could. Oh, glitter, glitter, glitter. <laughs> Paint the trees and plants and flowers. Make them glisten in the light. Spread some sparkle all around you. Make the valley shining bright. Spread some glitter here. Spread some glitter over there. Spread some glitter all around you. Make it sparkle everywhere. Like the sparkling frost in winter and the sunbeam's golden light. Spread some sparkle all around you. Make the valley shining bright. Paint the trees and plants and flowers. Make them glisten in the light. Spread some sparkle all around you. Make the valley shining bright. Spread some glitter over here. Spread some glitter over there. Spread some glitter all around you. Make it sparkle everywhere. Like the sparkling frost in winter and the sunbeam's golden light. Spread some sparkle all around you. Make the valley shining bright. Now it looks really special. Uh, but where can Rocket be? <laughs> Here I am. Cool. Guess what? Guess what? I was bouncing around and suddenly the valley was all sparkly. Oh, it looks tippity toppity. That was us, Rocket. We found some glitter and we made the valley all sparkly and glittery. Well, whoopity do. Just <laughs> Whoopity do! Huh? Rock it! Oh, no! Oh, <laughs> Look at me! Oh, I'm all sparkly and 
and glittery too. Oh, whoopity doopity! <laughs> Trees and plants and flowers ah. Make them glisten in the light Spread some sparkle all around you Make the valley shining bright Spread some glitter over here Spread some glitter over there Spread some glitter all around you Make it sparkle everywhere Like the sparkling frost in winter And the sunbeams golden light Spread some sparkle all around you Make the valley shining bright Spread some glitter over here Spread some glitter over there Spread some glitter all around you Make it sparkle everywhere Paint the trees with sparkling glitter Cha la 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 Hello to you. How do you do? Hello, little Bo. <laughs> Hello, Migo. Have you seen Hugo? No, I've only just got here. We're playing hide and seek, but he'll never find me. <laughs> Hello, little Bo. Hello, Hugo. Have you seen Migo? Well, yes, I... We're playing hide and seek, but I just can't find him. <laughs> Looks like they're having fun. Ready? Then off we go! <laughs> oh, you go, me go. Oh, me go, you go. Found you, amigo. Uh oh, me go, come back here. Oh, there you are. And how are you today? I was just looking for my best wooden spoon. Oh, I can't find it anywhere. Hello, Uncle Rolly. Oh, hello there, little Bo. I was just telling our friends that I can't find my best wooden spoon anywhere. Oh, it must be playing hide and seek, just like Hugo and Miko. Oh, well, I just can't remember where I put it. Shall I help you look for it, Uncle Rolly? Oh, no, no, thank you, little Bo. You run along and play with Hugo and Miko. All right, Uncle Rolly. See you later. Snooter Gator. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Oh, what are you playing? We're playing Migo Says. Do you want to play with us? Oh, yes, please. I love this game. Tell me again how to play, Migo. Oh, pff, all right. If I say Migo Says you have to do something, then you have to do it. And if I don't say Migo Says, you don't uh, do it. Right. Migo Says do it, I do it. Migo Says don't do it. I don't do it. Uh, something like that, yes. Ready? Yes. yes. Then here goes. Migo says, put your paw on your nose. Do you mean put my paw on my snooter? Yes, yes, I did mean put your paw on your snooter. I mean, Migo says, put your paw on your snooter. Because I didn't know when you said nose if you meant snooter too, because snoots have snooters, you see. Oh, come on, Hugo, just play the game. All right, all right, I'm doing it. Look. Well done, Hugo. Now, Migo says jump up and down. <laughs> Do you mean jump up and down with my paw still on my snooter or can I take my paw off my snooter? I don't think it matters, Hugo. It doesn't matter, Hugo. Then I think I'll take my paw off my snooter. It's easier to jump up and down when I haven't got my paw on my snooter. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> What are you doing, Hugo? Stopping. Just like you said. I didn't say stop. Yes, you did. You said stop, didn't you? Yes, I did. I said stop. Oh, there you go, then. But I didn't say Migo say stop. You are. Oh, he didn't say Migo say stop. He just said stop. But that's why I stopped. But we're only supposed to do things when he says Migo says. Oh, right. I think. Oh, let's do something else, shall we? What are we going to do? Um, oh, I know. Uh, pause, snooter, tomatoes, tomatoes. <laughs> pause, snooter, tomatoes, tomatoes. Oh, yes, I know this one. I know where my paw is and I know where my snooter is and my term 
and my toes. Come on, then, you snoots. I thought you might need a drink after all that jumping up and down and singing. Thank you, Uncle Rolly. Have you found your wooden spoon yet? Oh, not yet, little Bo, but thank you for asking. <sighs> You're it! Can't catch me! <laughs> Coming to get you, amigo! Don't you want to play tag with the others, Hugo? No, thank you, Rolly. Oh... What's the matter, Hugo? Well, I'm not very good at anything. What makes you say that, Hugo? Well, I can't play any of the games that Little Bo and Migo are playing. <sighs> well, sometimes it's a case of finding something that you're good at. What do you mean, Rowley? Well, you're good at singing the book-finding song with me, aren't you? Oh, yes. I love singing it with you. <laughs> then come with me and I'll show you what I mean. <laughs> when you take a look inside a book, who knows what you will see? When you take a look inside a book, it's fun as fun can be. With cats and dogs and birds and frogs A monkey who says boo, boo oh, Wonderful things, giants and kings And maybe a thimble or two Now what have we here? Uh, when you take a look inside a book Who knows what you might see? A story or rhyme Just take the time to read along with me Books over here, books over there. Find me a book with a story to share. A story specially for you, Go, if you please. Ah, thank you. Story time with Roly Moe, my favourite time of day. Now, are you sitting comfortably? Yes. Good. Then I'll begin. Hmm. Three little kangaroos were bouncing, Joe, Joanne, and their little brother, Joey. Watch this, said Joe, and with a big... He bounced high up in the air. Me next, said Joanne, and with a big... She bounced high in the air. And me, said little Joey. But however much he tried, he could only do a tiny little bounce. Come on, Joey. Let's try again, said Joe. No, said Joey. I want to do something else. I don't like bouncing. You don't like bouncing? asked Joanne. No, said little Joey. I'll never be able to bounce as high as you two. And he bounced off, feeling very sorry for himself. He found his mum. Mum, said Joey. I can't bounce as high as Joe or Joanne, so I don't want to bounce any more. Oh, said his mother, but you're very good at bouncing. Now I'm not, said Joey. Look. And with a... He did his little bounce again. Hmm, 
why don't you try something new, said his mum. And she did a great big bounce. And then she did a little somersault at the top. Wow, said Joey. That looks like fun. I'm going to try it. So he did. Hi, that was great, said Joe, bouncing up. Do you think you could teach me how to do it? And me, said Joanne. So Joey taught them all how to somersault, and now they're bouncing and somersaulting and somersaulting and bouncing all over the place. There. Now do you see what I mean? I think so, Rowley. Even though Joey couldn't jump as high as the others, he could do really, 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 really good somersaults. Oh, that's right, you go. I'm going to go and find the others and play with them some more. Oh, why, yes, that is a good idea, you go. See you later, Rowley, and thank you. See you later, Snootagator. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, little Bo, are you all right? Yes, I'm fine, Hugo. We're playing sleeping snoots. Do you want to play too? Oh, yes. I should be good at this. I'm good at sleeping. Now, remember, you can't move. <clears throat> Can I just ask... You're out! I saw you. You moved, Hugo. But, uh, oh, oh, I really can't play anything right. I know. Let's have a look in my busy book. There are lots of games in there. Busy book, busy book, let's take a look. Someone is hiding. Who can it be? Is it a thimble? Who can you see? It's Baby Pom. What are we going to do today, Baby Pom? There's a flower. Look, there's something hiding behind that petal. It's a blue umbrella. A red book. A green train. And there's a yellow sandcastle. It's a remembering game. Let's find the yellow sandcastle. Which petal is it behind? Is it behind this petal? There's the green train. So where's the yellow sandcastle? Is it behind this petal? There's the red book. So where is the yellow sandcastle? Is it behind this petal? Or is it behind that petal? Hooray! There it is! We did it! We found the yellow sandcastle! And can you remember what's under this petal? Is it something blue? Yes! It's the blue umbrella! Oh, well done, Hugo! Thank you, Baby Pom! See you again soon! <laughs> hey, that was fun! You were very good at it! You remember remembered everything! Hey, yes, I did! That's what I'm good at! I'm good at remembering things! Did I hear you say that you're good at remembering things? Yes, I am! Then maybe you can remember what I've done with my best wooden spoon! Oh, I just can't find it anywhere. Hmm, your best wooden spoon. Let me remember. Uh, oh, I know where it is. It was in the bathroom. You lent it to us last bath day to use as a paddle in our boat. Don't you remember? Oh, the bathroom, of course. Hooray! Hooray! Well remembered, Hugo. <laughs> well haven't we had fun today? Yes, yes it's, it's been, been a roly moly day. day. You will come and join us next time in Fimble Valley, won't you? Now it's time for us all to go. Cheerio! Cheerio! Cheerio!